Warning, this video contains alcohol use and the tannin of a weasel. Viewer discretion is advised. Aw, oh, hell. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Aw, oh, hell. I don't get drunk, I don't get naked, and I don't cuss. Go ahead and let your kids watch. Nothing better than a Mike's hard, Harder Strawberry. You're outside on a nice spring day, hanging around, tanning your weasel. Seriously. I'm tanning a weasel. What we got here is a little mink fur. It's a mink or it could be a, you know, a small fisher, but I believe it was a mink. Um, no, I didn't kill this. I didn't trap it. I actually came across it on the road. Somebody had hit it and uh, I thought, oh, no point in making it wasted. Stupid ticks are digging their way into dead minks. <laughs> but, um... I didn't want to waste it sitting there, so I cleaned it up. And this needs to be defleshed. <clears throat> okay, so I'll let it dry out a little bit. A little oily. Wonder if that's mink oil, huh? But you see, I'm taking my knife and Taken. So you can see that. And just kind of peel it back. So it went a little bit too deep right there and got some hair follicles, so I'm going to let it dry up a little bit more. Now we got it defleshed. There's some stuff still left on there, here and there, as you'll see. But that stuff, really hard to get off, especially with this, because this is a really thin, thin pelt. You can rub it with a brush a little bit. Like so, I know I don't have my gloves on, but I'm not touching it, so. I'll rough it up a little bit. So basically, what I'm going to do now is just leave it out to dry for a couple days. And then we'll prep it more after that. Set it right up there. I'm going to set it right up there. It's deflashed, so it shouldn't rot. It's not supposed to rain for a couple days. And so, hopefully it'll be alright. Alright, so I got you all out here in the driveway today because, one, it's a nice day. Two, grass are really tall, lawn more broke. And every time I walk over there, I seem to get ticks on me, so we don't want that. So I'm doing you out here in the dirt. And uh, we'll see what we can do to get this uh, mink or weasel done, whatever the hell it is, today. See what we can do. Can't I see it? Can you see it? I guess you can. So, we've let it dry out for a couple days. It's pretty, pretty well dried out here. And we're going to take this wire brush and we're going to take off excess stuff now that was left over. So 
going to do is get it down so it looks like that right there. I don't want any of the extra stuff on it. good now for the next part all right so what I got here is I got about oh half a cup of vegetable oil <coughs> we're gonna crack two eggs put it in there and we're gonna take and get out some mayonnaise we're just going to squeeze some of that in there for some texture. Okay. We're going to take this thing. We're just going to mix it up. You guys can mix it up any way you want. I wanted to try this thing out. I bought it for my wife. I wanted to try it out. It actually seems to work pretty good. See if we can find what I did with my other thingy. Well, I had a paintbrush for this, but I can't find it, so let's do this. Try this up on in there. Get all the dust out of it. Take your stuff, mix it right in there, and wipe it on. Wipe it everywhere on the on the hide. Get it on there nice and good. What this does, it will work its way down in. It's not quite like a tannin, but it will work its way in and help it so it doesn't break when you, uh, you know, if you go to move it, it won't break because if it gets too dry, it can break. You don't want that to happen. Put on a pretty good layer of it. Sloth it all over. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Let that set for about five or ten minutes. All right, We've added a few minutes now. So what you want to do is take a dry cloth and wipe off all the excess. See how there ain't much coming off in there? It worked its way down in. Wow. 
wipe it all off like so. This also helps work it in a little bit. And then, repeat. layer on there, work it in, okay, now what you want to do is you want to do this about three times, let me get you up here, I can see, you want to do this about three times, and then that'll be the final thing, let it sit for about 10 minutes in between them, and then wipe it all off, and then comes the next part. All right. Now we'll go to the final wipe down. Here. When you're all done, you can go through and clean up the edges. You can wet it down and try to get the mayonnaise off in it. There's any in there because it will leave it flattened out, or you can wait until it dries and just kind of brush it out. Once you got it all wiped down. And then go through and pop it off here. Wherever you had it stapled. Well, Sure, you know where your staples are, folks. And there. Now you got yourself. Make us sunshine. Here we go. Now you got yourself a mink or a weasel or whatever this is all tanned up. It won't break if you bend it, but it's pretty stiff. It'll make a nice wall hanger. Now one other thing you can do, if you want, one, you'll have to go through and dig your staples out. wherever they may be you don't end up getting cut later or stabbed or... and another thing you can do if you want to get artsy fartsy with it and I'm actually gonna know this one because eh, a little bit too much stuff up there more than I want I'm gonna do now take my scissors okay you can cut it out to any shape you want and you just clean it off with a rag or a cloth And 
one other thing. Once you've done this, if you don't mind it being a little bit stiffer, you can take and get it like this, let it dry some more out in the sun after you've done your egg. And you can actually take the back end of it and spray it with uh, some clear coat paint if you want. Trim up some pieces here. There we have it. One dried weasel. 